Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, on this episode, I'm going to send you out into the weekend ride. We are going to show some clips of Ted Cruz tearing asunder the FBI director around the militant images list, which has been circulating around the internet, around how far-right militants are all about the Gadsden flag and the Betsy Ross flag and like the American flag and things. Very odd, coming from the FBI of America. Well, Ted Cruz did it in style, his typical delivery, and this is how you counter this. You destroy the propaganda by literally calling it for what it is and showing what they're doing. That's what we're going to discuss. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below, including the links for the videos if you want to see the entire exchange. Definitely worth your time, and make sure to send this out because this is important stuff to spread upon everyone that you know. Now, this is the last video this week sponsored by SDI. I'm going to do a quick read from them. And thank you again so much to SDI for being a recurring sponsor on the program, bringing you this information. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to repair and upgrade your own guns. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. The online programs at SDI cover armor courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and finishing, shooting sports management, and so much more. There's never been a better time to further your education and get something you can actually use for yourself. There's a link in the description box below, and I would love for you to check it out because it might just be what you're looking for. Thank you again to SDI, and now let's get it. I've got some clips. Oh, we're going to start with Ted Cruz dismantling the propaganda, and then I'm going to show you what used to be unacceptable for a sitting director of an intelligence agency or a crime agency or a any type of executive bureaucracy. Here we go. Let's get it. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of this stuff. This is this is some stuff right here. Dr. Ray, I'm deeply concerned that the FBI and the Department of Justice have become thoroughly politicized. I think this is a problem that began during the Obama administration. I think it metastasized with career officials during the Trump administration. And I think it continues and is even worse today under the Biden administration. All right, so one of my favorite things, as Ted introduces that whole concept of what he's going to go into, the way that he delivers things, very poised, very accurate, very intelligently, and controlling the emotion for the controlled delivery. That's something that I try to model on this channel as well. It's an incredibly effective way to communicate. Now, listen to what he actually does when he introduces the document that we're about to talk about. And at the end of this clip, please watch the whole thing, because the FBI Director Ray, his response is classic pathetic. But... We got more Ted, so check this out. But instead, they included, rather astonishingly, patriotic symbols of our nation and our history. Included on this list is the Betsy Ross flag. Now, that's fairly remarkable that the Betsy Ross flag and the FBI's indication is indicative of violent, of militia violent extremism, because among other people who have been publicly alongside the Betsy Ross flag, we have President Barack Obama, who was sworn in directly underneath two Betsy Ross flags. But it's not just President Obama. We also have President Biden, who was sworn in under Betsy Ross flags. So the reason that I wanted to bring that forward, obviously the Betsy Ross flag is not indicative of a militant nature. It is literally an iteration of an American flag. That's that. However, the thing that Ted is doing is he's drawing attention to the flagrant hypocrisy, which is so inundated on the left. Do as I say, not as I do, is one of the mantras of things that we cover on this channel all the time. It is consistent, even in the gun controller's ethos of, you can't have guns because you're too stupid, you'll hurt yourself, but I can have armed security. That's the entire thing, the elite speaking down to the little people. Now that's the entire premise. He's calling out their whole point in the propaganda for what it is, hypocrisy. That's incredibly powerful. Again, maintaining his composure. Now this next one, this is how you deliver. This is beautiful. <laughs> just watch this part because Ted's boots are about to come off, literally. It's not just the Betsy Ross flag. Also on this list is the Gadsden flag as a symbol of violent extremism. Now, the state of Virginia has a license plate for the Gadsden flag, as do many other states. I think people would be astonished to find that having that license plate, the FBI indicates that you're a violent extremist. Also included on this is a text that I was particularly struck, is the Gonzales battle flag. Come and take it. 
as indicative of being a violent extremist militia. Well, I will self-report right now that every day in the Senate I wear my boots that have the Gonzalez battle flag on the back of them. That is so good because Ted Cruz actually walks and practices what he preaches. You can't say he's a fake if it's on his boots that he wears every single day into the Senate. The whole point here, and the reason I'm bringing you this, is incredibly important. Obviously, there's the delivery piece, which is masterful. You've got calling out on the hypocrisy of the left. Phenomenal. You even have the questioning of why are patriots being deemed terrorist or militant violent extremist when there is no such cause based off of historical emblems of our country, going back to the founding of our country. That's a bit of a problem. The FBI seems to be indicating that these are associated with bad things. Now, Ted even goes into the clip, and you can watch the entire thing down below. There's other groups that are pretty prominent right now in current events that don't seem to have their own little uh, uh, cheat sheet of icons and other things that would indicate that they would have negative leanings. Interesting. But this next part I'm about to show you, this, this used to be unacceptable for career politicians. This used to be unacceptable for anyone holding a job. When was the last time you, as an individual, if a boss or someone of your author- of an authority to you said, hey, did you, did you sign for this budgetary release? Did you sign for this press release? Are you, you're head of marketing. Did you have anything new? Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, okay, well then you're not held responsible? No, that would never happen in the real world, but this is politics. This is why bureaucracies exist for people just like this. Get it, Ted? Do you, do you agree with this FBI guidance that the Betsy Ross flag and the Gadsden flag and the Gonzalez battle flag are signs of militia violent extremism? Well, Senator, I, I'm not familiar with the particular document you have behind you, uh, and I'm not in the practice of trying to comment on documents that I haven't uh, recognized. All right, so like I said, that used to be a bad thing. What Ted basically just did was he said, hey, do you agree point blank with the facts that are coming out of your agency, director of FBI? So you either either believe this or you're ignorant and you don't know what's going on in your own business. Okay, well, he goes clearly with, well, I'm, I'm not familiar with that document, so I don't usually speak on things I'm not familiar with, so I can't really speak to your question. So you're ignorant. So inside your own agency, the one that you've been appointed to lead on the behalf of the American people, responsible for the entire FBI and held accountable by the Senate, your answer is, you know, I haven't seen that. Well, I can't speak to it. You, Someone in the comments, name if you'd get away with that at your job or anything, any relationship that you have. Personal responsibility is null and void in bureaucracies because there's no accountability across the board because there's no delivery. That's why governments are so inefficient across the board. There's no accountability. There's no responsibility, which is why these types of people navigate and become lifelong bureaucrats to sit in these types of positions. All the while, you and I are suffering under their ineptitude. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments field below, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.